Last week at Power Platform Conference, we were doing a giveaway. If you stopped by our booth and registered, basically you had the chance to win this monstrosity. Yes, a Lego Pac-Man, right? Who isn't excited about that? For all those people, today is the day that I picked the winner. And I thought for picking a winner, the best way to do that would be to pull a name out of hat. So I grabbed the hat. Oh, I just lost some people's names. And what are we gonna pick? Look at that, we chose Buddy. Wait a minute, that's not fair. I agree, right? And so this is a problem with picking names out of hats, right? Is it's, you can cheat. So let's, let's put our thinking hat on, think about how we could maybe do this better. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, I stumped a bunch of paper on top of my hair. I'm a genius. Anyway, no, so what we're gonna do is we're going to build ourselves a power app to do this, right? It takes like less than 10 minutes, uh, we're just gonna build a quick one. I'm gonna show you two different ways to build it. One, if you're just doing it literally one time or another, if you're building it so other people can do it. So if you have raffle giveaways, things like that, you can use Power Apps so that we know we can cheat, right? Random number generators, all that fun stuff. We're gonna learn how all of that works. We're going to pick a winner and we're going to then send it off to our winner, right? Not that one though, that one's mine. I had to put that one together finally. We're gonna send them a brand new one, but either way, let's switch over to my desktop. And take a look. Okay, so we're gonna start with a blank power app, right? Easy peasy. And what we've got is an Excel file that just has all the data. So let's switch over to that real quick. Now this isn't the real Excel file. We're gonna use the real Excel file. We're gonna pick the real winner, but I wanted to show you, I can't show you all their names. And so I've made a simple Excel file here. And the key is I put this data and I turn it into a table, right? By choosing the format as table. And then if you look under table design, you'd see this is called table one. That's what I have. I just have a spreadsheet with their first names and last names in there. To get that into my app, what we're going to do for this one, and I'm gonna show you a different way to do it later, but we're just gonna go here to data sources, and then we'll say add data, and we're gonna search for Excel. And so you can import from Excel. So if you just wanna import this one time, right? I just need to do this giveaway, I'm gonna throw this app away. Never gonna use it again, right? So now if I go find my file, it's on my desktop, and it's called like MPP something, there it is, MPPC. And so look, it found there's just one table in there. Boom, we'll hit connect under my face. Okay, so now that data set is in here. Remember, this isn't a live connection to Excel, it's just a one-time import of that Excel, but it's now in the app. And if importing Excel is your thing, then check out, there's a video up there. But now that that's in here, we could pull it in, and like if we said, hey, let me a label on the screen, and then we said count rows, and then table one, because that's the name of our data source, you'll see there's 599 people, right? I got rid of all the duplicates and triplicate entries, and I caught all of you. Um, but there you go, we got 599 people in there. If we wanna see it, what we're gonna do is we'll throw a gallery on. And then with the gallery, I'm gonna, first, I'm gonna change the gallery to be a, um, just a title field, right? Cause once again, I can't show you all their info. We'll close that again. And then we're going to change the items property to be table one. So there's all them. Now, if I wanted to see their last names, what I would do, because I can't show you their whole, but I can show you parts. So I'll say this, boom, boom, boom. And then what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna say left and then this item dot last name, right? So that's the string that is their last name. And then say you left one character. And now you can see we got Aaron S, Aaron L, Adrian G, et cetera, right? So there you go, way to get all their info in, in without showing you their info. Now we gotta pick one of these people, but we wanna pick a random number. So we'll throw another label in here. And so in Power Apps, there is a function called rand. And if you use that one, that returns really weird decimal, I don't know, that, that was not very helpful. But a few years ago, they gave us rand between. So this, you can say, I want a number between one and 599. So that would have chosen 438. 438, you're not the winner, but that would have chosen number 438. So that's one way we could do that. Now, I don't wanna hard code this. So I'm just gonna go here and say count the rows. Oh, so I'll copy this whole formula. So that way my formula is not hard coded, right? So now 189 is the winner. You're also not the winner. Um, I'll tell you guys when it's the winner one. We can do that. Now, in Power Apps, there's also a newer function called index. So if we do index and then of a table, so in our case, table one, and then like if we do index, uh, four, it should be Ahmed. So we'll do index four. That returns the record from the table. And so we just do a dot first name. And there you go, right? So that would have chosen Ahmed, right? Also not the winner. Now you've kind of seen the pieces. Now we can write ourselves a formula to actually pick the winner. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, I want a label, right? So this label is going, we're going to do this formula. And I'll explain why in just a second. So this number will be the winner. So 596 is the winner, okay? Now, how do we find out who 596 is? We're going to insert another label. And for 596, 
what we're going to do is we're gonna say, hey, I want you to use this whole index thing, right? So index, label one, and then we're going to say, I want the output of that label, right? So this was label, this label right here is label four. Now, the reason that I am not putting, I'm just gonna do label four dot text. The reason that I am not putting in there um, the formula is because we're gonna use it twice and it gets calculated every time you use it. So we would have a first name and a last name mismatch, right? So I needed it to be in a static place. I might've put it in variable, but you know, lots of different options there. Now, if we close this, it's gonna error right away. If you hover, it says, hey, I'm expecting a text value. All right, so we'll do label four dot text dot first name, all right, wing. And then we're going to do ampersand space, 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 ampersand. And then we're going to do this same formula, but we're gonna do last this time. But we don't wanna do their whole last, right? We wanna do the left of their last, so you don't give away their info. So we'll say that last comma one. So wing C is the winner. Congrats, yay! You get one of these. Right here you go, you can have it. No, no, can't pass it to the camera, but we will get with you to send that to you. Cause we have all the other contact info in there as well, but obviously I'm not gonna show you this contact info. There you go. That's a way to choose a winner. So if you had to do just a one-time solution, right? Like clearly you see the mechanics there, some different options. Now, another way that you can do this that I showed in a different video, I'll put this video up there as well, is what if you want to be able to paste, right? So you want your users not to import into Power Apps, like you want to make an app that's a little more repeatable so they can just come in here and paste data. Well, what I might do is throw a text input and then I'm going to set its uh, display mode to multi-line. And so then now if we get rid of that, if we switch back over to the Excel, I'm going to copy all the names. Control C, switch back over, hit play. I'm gonna paste those in. So now they're all in a uh, text input. That doesn't really help us because that's not table data, that's text data, right? And we know that, right? If we said uh, count rows in text input one dot text, it's like, what? I don't even understand. Like it's it, it's like you're, you're just doing this wrong, okay? But what I figured out is that you can turn this from uh, text into data or into rows of data by using the split function. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, split and then we'll say text input one dot text and then what do we want to split it on this is the tricky one it is car or char 10. okay that is the uh, new line break that just got put in there like when we pasted and all these were on separate lines it was it was automatically putting um the new line character in there we just can't see it but if we close that now one more close we see seven right one two three four five six and so the seventh one, right, there's a break after buddy. So then you'd always want to do this minus one because there'll always be one blank row at the end. So that would give you the six people. And so now you've got the rows and now you could, right, that's a table. And so if you wanted to then say, hey, how would I get the, you know, the whole random of that, right? So we could say random between one and that. And then what would we feed that to? We would feed that to index and so then our table would be our split data right so that would be this control copy paste and then if we go to the end close our parentheses that gives us the record and if we do a dot and it should be value i got a wrong character in here somewhere split is there oh because i put two parentheses right here i don't know why i did that there we go so but <laughs> After all that, Buddy was a winner. I guess the uh, the hat didn't lie. That's hilarious. I did not plan that. Yeah, but look at that. So Buddy would be the winner. So that would be a way to build the same app if you just wanted the users to be able to paste data in and it just spit out a winner. It would just be a text input and then that simple formula. Okay, that's enough for today. Congrats to our winner. Congrats to everybody that I got to meet at Power Platform Conference. I got to take selfies with a couple thousand of you. It was crazy. Um, it's a lot of fun as a conference. If you get a chance next year, I think they're going to have it roughly the same time and roughly the same place. You should come check it out, right? If nothing else, you get to see me and the team at Power Apps 901. And with that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day.